Hey, it's Michael Swift from 1620 The Zone, joined by Jim Hall from Orsi's Pizzeria. Jim, you guys have been doing this for over 100 years, and I, you took us around and showed us what makes this place special. Why, why have the neighbors and the family, people around home all come for so long? Because it's a lot like going home to eat, eating at Nana's house. Mm -hmm. It's a homemade, homemade sauce, homemade bread. It's like a real authentic type pizza and an authentic bread. It's not really manufactured or artificial stuff. It's real ingredients. And people like having the real thing. They don't want the foamy stuff. Yeah, I have friends that still only have Orsi's bread. That's all they eat. What about the bread? Kind of walk us through why that bread is so special. The bread is, you know, it's our history. That's our cornerstone of what we started on. That's all we did was bread. We had different kinds of bread, but our Italian twist bread was the major bread because of they could come get it in the morning, a hot loaf. We didn't slice bread until 1971. Mm. You came in and got a hot loaf of bread on Sundays or we would deliver it to the grocery stores in wooden crates and paper bags. People would get it right after church and it would be still hot. Some people would have carried butter in their car mm. so they could rip it apart and put the butter on top of Smart it. Smart people. Yes. <laughs> and that way they'd have it hot on the way home. Yeah. And some people still get it that way on Sundays and during the weekdays because I always put a 20, 30 loaves that way because they're the regular or the kids that grew up with it and sometimes grandkids now want right. that whole bread. Yeah. So as much as pizza and bread, you also have the deli, the fresh deli there. People come in and get a lot of fresh sliced meat? Yes, there's a lot. I started the deli back in 2007, 2008 when the last neighborhood, there used to be like over a dozen little neighborhood deli Italian grocery stores. Mm -hmm. The last one, Marino's on 13th Street closed. He retired, so I decided we need to have something like that because this will be the only place you can't buy these things at Baker's, hy mm -hmm. you know, the Fairway, etc. So I decided to put one of those in here because it would just go with what the baker does and diversify a little bit. Yeah, you guys got great capicola, right? Yes, the hot capicola. Yeah. yeah, and back east they call it gabagool. Gabagool, yeah. yes. <laughs> and the more the better. Yeah. And uh, to carry out still, obviously, is what people yeah. do a lot of times. Best to call out how long ahead? About an hour ahead, 45 minutes. That will always help us. And if it's during a busy football game or holiday, a little earlier would always help too. Yeah, because you're catering as well? We do like help out with weddings. We did lately until the pandemic, we did a lot of wedding parties because now what you see at weddings, since you can only have your food on the table for two hours, a lot of people get pizzas from nine or 10 o'clock so they can feed all the people that come in late and the kids that are out there dancing and drinking until right. midnight, they'll have something to eat to soak up the alcohol, I guess. That's a great plan. Cornerstone of the Little it's Orsi's Pizzeria. We appreciate them being part of our family too. Thank you.